Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream and a happy Halloween to you. Today we're continuing our playthrough of Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. And where we last left things off, it got very suspenseful. We uh, confronted the teenagers that were giving us some trouble. I was trying to win them over to the best of my ability. Hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. Happy Halloween. And, uh... We found out that the ringleader ghost that's been giving us problems is Alex, our protagonist from the previous game. So, I don't know what to think. Maybe it's lies. I don't know. But we also know that the ghosts, when you're trapped for so long, start to kind of mess with your head and you're not acting as you normally would. So, I don't know. Could be Alex. Could be a trick. Hey there, Kay. Welcome back to the stream. Happy Halloween to you as well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I didn't get to hang up my skulls tonight as I did in the previous stream because I rushed home from a work Halloween party. So, <laughs> hold on. So I had to rush home, grab something to eat, put on a bit of a costume, and, and be ready to party. So... We're going to give folks a little bit of time to kind of file in before we get started. Hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream. Happy Halloween. Party was pretty good. It was a good time. I got to hang out with some coworkers I don't normally get the chance to hang out with. And there were a lot of Halloween snacks around. We had some Halloween movies kind of playing in the background, which was fun. I didn't get around to seeing Hocus Pocus this season. So this was my opportunity to... Watch like a good 20 minutes or so of it. So, it was nice. I watched your VOD to catch up because I missed last night. Yeah, quite a bit happened. Uh, Jacob got like pretty heated when it came to the kids. Like, I understand he had a bit of a an embarrassing situation with them that obviously he has not worked through. But I, I had to intervene. I had to be the adult. I tried my best to have empathy for the children. Because a lot of them are going through their own things at home. Totally understandable. But uh, I'm not sure where things are going to go from here. Uh, I, I get the feeling we're kind of... I don't know if we're going to finish the game tonight. I haven't played it before, so I don't know the general pacing of it. But I feel like we're sort of building towards that big moment. We still haven't gone to like the big like parentage mansion that was kind of blocked off from us earlier. So I'll be curious to see how far we get tonight. We could finish the game. Who's to say? Yeah, you think so? Okay. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll give folks another couple minutes to file in. We are starting a little bit later tonight. I tried my best to get here as close to on time as possible. I can't guarantee I'm going to stay online late to finish the game. Just because I am starting a bit later. I've actually got an early start tomorrow, so... Unfortunately, I can't stay up too late. Kind of wish I would. Part of me still wishes I was still a student. Where, like, I know I would have, like, tests and projects and things to work on in the morning. And class, obviously. But it's like, when you've got a set time every single day. I don't know. And my old job, I, I didn't have to get into work until, like, 10 a.m. So I really could take my time in the mornings, which... Like, I really took for granted, now in hindsight, I gotta say. Ooh, I have been seeing, there's a lot of jump scares in Alan Wake 2. I've been seeing a bit of gameplay footage from it pop up on my uh, TikTok feed. But are you enjoying it? Pretty fun and spooky. Perfect for this time of year. I actually debated tonight when I got back from, like, the Halloween party at work. It's like, do I have the energy? To be on stream tonight and it's like you know what it's halloween i almost never do a stream on halloween itself despite the fact that i love halloween a lot so it's like you know what we're gonna power through we're gonna have a great time getting some scary spooky moments with some ghosts and possessions and things and radios because why not multiple musical segments what is this mario wonder i've been seeing a lot of the that gameplay footage as well very different vein to Alan Wake 2, I would assume. I haven't played Mario Wonder and I haven't played Alan Wake 2, but 
I, I'm going to say it's a safe bet that they are two very different genres of games. Everybody loves music. It's, it's the undeniable fact. The people love the music. Whether it's a horror game or a, a family-friendly game, you got to give them the music. Got to make it interesting. I'm trying to think if there are any other like musical games that came out recently. I feel like there is one, and it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite pinpoint it. It'll come to me later. Stray Gods. Oh, I don't know if I'm familiar with that one. Stray Gods. Although, speaking of things on sale, when I was signing into Steam just before the last stream to get set up, I noticed Detroit Become Humans on sale for like $17. Oh my god. I don't have it for PC, and I was very tempted in that moment to get it. Just, I enjoy Detroit Become Human, but also part of me doesn't like giving David Cage more money. I don't know. It's a... It's a push and pull kind of situation. Yeah, Steam sales really get me when it's like, here's a game that like you haven't thought about in ages, and maybe you don't have it on PC, but you might want to play it again. Do you want it? It's for less than twenty dollars. It's like, oh, Steam, you're killing me here. <laughs> It's like it's dangling a treat right in front of my face and it's like I don't want to jump for it but like dang it's it's really tempting me though. That's how they get you. That's how Steam sales get you. I do love Steam. I do love how convenient it is and I really appreciate the sales especially when uh, you know you've got a company like Nintendo that never marks down games ever or if they do it's by like 10%. So you only save like four dollars but sometimes it's just it's it's too much of a good thing which feels silly to say but it is it's like steam i only have so much money please i already have a list of games i haven't played yet that i have sitting in my steam library but they get me anyway and speaking of getting us it's time for the ghost to get us in Oxen Free 2, Lost Signals. All right, so it should start us from when we walked away from the creepy house. Nope, <laughs> not even close. Please don't tell me I have to do all that again. I thought I was safe. Hold on. Oh, we're good. Okay. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Okay. Uh, so actually, before we get too far. Evelyn? Hey, uh, Evelyn? Are you there? Come in. Over. Riley! Oh, hey, what's up? There she is. Anything to report? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I think we're almost done. We're headed to the last transmitter spot now. Over. Great. That's awesome. You know, I wish I could have offered more, uh, you know, just help <laughs> support in some way during all of this. It's been. Uh, uh, could we? Sorry, but but could could we just take a breather for a second here? We need a moment. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah, we earned it, I guess. Two minutes. Sorry, Evelyn, you gotta go. Give us, you know. How's that sit with you? <sighs> Not great. So, parentage is just moon gazing and yoga mats. That's good to know, I guess. But they actually remind me of another group like the Wait. The Migration? I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. Am I supposed to be talking but right the now? The actual act. The natural act. Migration. Pretty interesting. How baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch. And birds will actually fly north. You know, so to stop. Hey there, the MG Tower. Do, they, Welcome to stream. Uh, Happy know, Halloween. And suddenly, we have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. You know, I wonder about the other yeah, birds. Is this supposed to happen? Is this a glitch? <laughs> when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around, 
I wonder how many of them find a different way. <gasps> you know, this reminds me of that story I told I'm pregnant. You. Uh, beg pardon? I found out before I took the job. I'm two months. Ah, then I do have that 2020 hearing. Or, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, All right. Jump scare. Congratulations. Wow. Shock. I'm sorry. Is this a balloons and gay type of thing? Or, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me know there. No balloons. Copy that. I'm assuming it's a no balloons thing. Uh, okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I, I sense the security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm talking so much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take oh, one colossal uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. Look, Jacob... I just needed to say it out loud. I haven't told anyone yet. You're technically not supposed to before three months, but whatever. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer, a boy or a girl? I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. I know it's a boy. And uh, any names? Rex. And if I'm prying, please say so. I was actually thinking Rex. A little boy named Rex? That sounds great. It will look awesome on a Little League sheet. <laughs> Why that one? I just feel like it... Uh, I can't really explain it. Well, it'll definitely stand out. I mean, I can count on no hands how many Rexes I've ever met. So, uh, bird's eye, how do you... You know, feel overall. <laughs> That's a loaded question. About it. I'm hopeful. I am. I'm trying to be positive. I should probably be worried. And, you know, part of me is very worried, incredibly worried. But hope is still winning. Well, it should stay that way. Uh, uh, maybe this is weird, but um, thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Not many now. Lucky me. <laughs> Boy, night of surprises. Yep. But it's uh, it's nice to have one that's different in the good way. Come on, one last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. See, here I was getting worried that like, like, there was a glitch or something, and when he was talking about it, I'm like, uh-oh, am I going to have to reload this? And then her bombshell dropped, and it's like, oh, there it is. That's what it was waiting for. Playthrough has been pretty similar to mine so far, but instead of keeping the second radio, I broke it. See, I debated it in that, like, split second where I could make that call, and my thought process was there might come a point where she, she or somebody steals the radio off me, and then at least I have one more. And I know that like potentially opens the door to like somebody stealing it off me and going and then like, oh no, like if you just had the one radio, you could have kept a hold on it. But because you had two, you can't hold on to both radios if someone's trying to like yoink it off you, you know? I wanted to be petty. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I thought about it, but it also felt more mean. But I know this potentially also opens the door to, like, problems later. I, I will take the consequences as they arrive. Okay, so I'm supposed to head to the transmitter. Here we go. We need to plant three more of these transmitters up and down the coast. Clear view above Edwards Island, above 3,000 feet elevation. Evelyn's asked to check in with her whenever you plant a transmitter, which I am trying to do. Shelly's voicemail kept saying funny. Why? And how did it know my name? Hey there, Gabsby. Welcome back to the stream. Happy Halloween. Hope you're doing well. Okay, he's going this way. I'm going to follow him. Did I 
really... Uh, yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's a way up. This is fine. Sure it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. Oop. It's for you. Ring ring, it's Alex. Mm -hmm. So, either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or <laughs> that is a phone ringing. Uh, okay. We just hit a major bingo square. You pay phone ringing in the wild? Yeah, I should go inside and buy a lottery ticket. Oh, I see a shiny you there. Better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello? <laughs> Shelly? Park Ranger Shelly? The... Forest... Shelly! Not to... Cabin... Oh... Or... My own... And... More... Of... My love... And... Sister... Wait, are you... Are, are you saying the park ranger and you are related, or...? Sonar technician John Gerald Shelley aboard the USS <gasps> oh. Cowboys talked to a mess attendant about... Adventure for mother. Freeze. Huh. That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It... Sounded like, at least. We should call her on the walkie, let her know what happened. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good idea. I think yours is the stronger connection, so whenever you want. Ranger Shelly, it's Riley, over. Riley, hey, find out anything about that answering machine message I got? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I think a ghost of a dead relative is, is trying to warn you, so if you have an uncle that served on the Canaloa, maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night. Over. I do. I, yeah, I have a great uncle. He was a sonar, I think. Well, crud. <laughs> then I shouldn't leave the station anymore? I was just about to... <sighs> I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Mm. Do you? Do you know where I should go? I sound stupid just asking, but don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's I know not this worth is a bad call. I'd listen to it. I bet Over. you this is about Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn's sister. So Crap. Dumb, but, uh, okay, sure. Sure, fine, fine. I'm, I'll stay put. I can radio in some support from other stations. I guess can you can't keep them both. Uh, uh, I hope this isn't some. I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley. Radio, if you need it. I made a call. Thanks. We're living with it. Over and out. Save Shelly. All right. But who did I doom instead? <laughs> These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. I realize I haven't been looking at the drawings on the back. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's been getting a lot of weird calls today, so I mean, that's understandable. Ingrid, stray thoughts, consider this an addendum to our last conversation. I have no religion. I cannot say it is the pursuit of knowledge, as I gave up the chase quite a while ago. My father was devout, my mother less so. I patterned after her. Faith in a system where I cannot see its purpose is hard for me. What is the purpose of chemical existence? I've never read a satisfactory answer. Mayhem is the order in which the universe was founded, I think. The stories we take from that mayhem are us trying to line up events in a way that makes sense for our sanity. I am happy for anyone who finds peace in this ocean. So I am happy parentage gives you some peace. I'm not exactly jealous, but perhaps I should be. Nope, nope. Can I, can I get a radio signal here? Wait, nope. Ooh. I was a betting man. I'd say, I'd, I'd say nothing. <laughs> I'm not a betting man. I'm a dead man. A dead man at the bottom of a hill. Raindrops falling on open eyes. Drip. Drop. Bottom of the 12th. 1-1. One, one. If I was a betting man, I'd say... I'd, 
kind of baseball game is this? Oh my. Jeez, how far does this go? Bottom of the twelfth, one one. I think if man's creations could withstand the destructive force of time, I would still carry certain aspirations. But the truth of the matter is that I would still rather eat goose than be accused of a harsh dogma. And I would rather live a life of quiet seclusion than see my conceptions washed away. I considered myself a man of humility. <laughs> It could have been wrestling. Very dramatic. Forget to take out the Dear. Roger. Evil Shaker. How? Don't forget to take out the Dear. T Roger. Evil Trash. How? Trash. Don't forget to take out the trash. Oh, I was like, oh, is that like the old, like, uh, doo-doo? Here's something new to tell you about the area. So, <laughs> can I ask you the dumbest question in the world? Go for it. And I, I mean the dumbest. Dumb. Embarrassing. Throw a sad rock. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because it's dumb. It's the dumbest, but, but I'm still asking. Go for it. Do you, uh, want to be friends after this? Yes! And, like, just friends. Legit, no prefixes. And not even like best friends. More like, it's 3 a.m. I need a cheeseburger and a cherry Danish. Who would join me on this quest? Yeah, I'm, I'm in, but dude, that is not the dumbest question. Do you want to be my friend? Ugh, what am I, nine? <laughs> I, I'm happy with your answer, but still, it's a dumb question. No, it's not. But I'm still happy. So, we are officially friends without prefixes. Yay. What do we call this new friendship? It needs a title. For, for, uh, you know, the record? You already named it perfectly. We are 3 a.m. food friends. That's, like, a thing. Or, rather, we're making it a thing. Right now. Hell yeah, 3 a.m. food friends. Yes, thing made. All right, well, let's survive the Agree night. to be a special be kind of friends. 3 a.m. food friends achievement. I love it. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the alternatives you could have had for that, and it's like... I mean, obviously, it's like, not friends, but like... What other options were there? When we're done with all of this... Just friends? You should come back here. Like, this area. Best sunset view in town. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. So noted. And I intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff. Five hundred pennies, you have my word. <laughs> okay. So I suppose making our way up to the church, I guess. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Did you oh, know that? I did not know Something that. Something about the, uh, the dust in the atmosphere. Hey there, Olaf. Blue Martian Welcome sunset. back to the stream. Happy Halloween. Hope you're doing well. Oh, sorry about that, Texas. If if it's any consolation, we're only like. 20 minutes in, so shot. we didn't get too far. You know, technically, outer space is part of nature. Like sky blue? Or uh, blue M&M &M blue? Yeah, more of a darky cobalty blue, if, if you know what that is. Well, I guess I'll say happy Halloween to you as well, Texas. Hope you're doing well. Yes, we're, we started a little bit later tonight. I had a, a work Halloween party to go to, so I rushed home, got ready, and now we're playing some Oxenfree. 
so honestly like twitch alerts are so hit and miss it's it's why i've been using like discord alerts and things like that in tweets it's like i don't like relying on that but it's the only thing i know that will guaranteed work like a, a faded it was pretty good it wasn't too I'm rowdy jealous, or anything you know? but like got to watch a bit of hocus I mean, I'm pocus totally down with have some drinks, eat some sunsets. candy. It's no a good complaints. time. But I, I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. Aliens. And how much and of ghosts. it we'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me. Envy no more, my man. We're going to <laughs> Mars. You, me, Athena. Pack some snacks. Ha! You can pick the tunes. Where should we head this way? Here. I try to watch it every Halloween, and I didn't get around to it this year, just with life things happening. So I'm glad I at least got to watch, like, a good chunk of it tonight. It felt right. Zombie invasion? <laughs> Gotta mix it up, right? Okay, so I'm, in, I'm assuming we are heading to the Church of the Grand Architect. Because I don't think it's marked on here. Because I'm looking for notes on here and I'm not seeing them. I did. I watched it around last Halloween and I don't know. In terms of things I would like to watch around Halloween time, I'll just, I'll stick with the original. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think in our last stream we were talking a bit about sequels that were made like well after the fact. I would say that's definitely ex an example of one that doesn't quite hit the marks of the first one. Oh, right, yeah, I can use the radio here. Horror movies. Ah, oh, hey. So it's horror movie season in Brazil, then. Skeletons. Is there a graveyard nearby? Oh, maybe. <laughs> it. That's fair. It kind of like feeds into like culturally the time of year where you are. The influence of the U.S. Oh, still the bottom of the twelve. It must be here somewhere. I think it's man's creation. <laughs> Come on, where is it? Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Must have went by it too fast before. You know, it always blows my mind that someone had to uh, invent the bridge. Like, I know they happen naturally, lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that. But at least once, at one point, there was some guy looking at a river going, Hey, wait a second. We can just go over it. They, uh, they put this one up in the late 1800s. Hmm. Still I guess standing. that's why I'm thinking about it. How people must have looked at it, at the bridge. And for some people, it was their only way to work. Maybe it was where they had their first kiss, right? The first fist fight, where they proposed. But now, that bridge doesn't mean anything. Sure it does. It's, just, it's creepy. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. It just makes you think. I don't want to live forever. But I don't want to die forever either. You know what I mean? I don't want to be actual nothing, you know? Oh, come on. Who could possibly forget you? You're He's a... very nervous. You know, 
Jacob Summers. Disheveled fix-it man for hire. Oh, oh, thank you. I mean, out of all the options, that was the best one I could find. The rest were questionable. Is that snow on the ground? Oh, hey, see that? Not the church, but the behind the church. That's part of the old mine system. We could probably get oh, up there. More old mines. The tunnel, which, you know, <laughs> big if. I feel like you literally pointed past a more obvious choice. <laughs> what I mean is that the ledge up there seems like the best spot to drop the transmitter. To me. But full transparency, I honestly just wanted to suggest the plan A before it became, let's climb the rickety church tower. Maybe you have other ideas. Let's not rule out the church just yet. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. <laughs> He's like, you make the rules, lady. I want to do a bit of exploring first before we kind of move things forward. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we gonna hide this dead body? That was awful. I thought it <laughs> slightly relevant? Maybe not. Just trying to lighten the... Never mind. It, it, talk about dead bodies? <laughs> I see benches. I think just one. some kind of weird flag with a pickaxe. NWMA Garland Chapter. Oh, okay. I think I can guess. NWMA? No, no. Northwestern. Miners. Uh... Mine Workers Association? Um, association? The Northwest Miners Association? Ah, that's it. Or at least it brings back memories of 8th grade Oregon State history. Yeah, this we haven't done any new transmitter stuff since the last stream. The 12 brave souls who lost their lives during the collapse of Latimer Mine Shaft A. Dedicated by the families of the dead on this day of February 7th, 1892. Forever in solidarity. Ah. Okay, so we can climb up that way. Oh, no, can't investigate there, but let's investigate this. This is some kind of equipment. I, I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. Is it uh, on or working? Whatever it is? I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, lit or whirring inside. Wonder what that cable is connected to and what it's for. Uh, don't touch it. <laughs> See, this is it. Suspicion will not go according to plan. I, that is probably a very safe, uh, Suspicion to have there. Oh, no, not another one. Okay, we got to finish exploring before we activate this thing because I made that mistake last time um. <laughs> Why are there so many uh, wires? Ports, We're supposed cables, to close whatever, the portal building. which this will isn't open still right stop no, no the way. teenagers Can they look a fresh? Plan sure, we'll, we'll we can get off fresh. the island. We're trying to close the portal or someone is here presently Huh. I wonder why. Yeah, it beats me. I just want to check over this way. Okay. Garland Post Office. Established 1878. Oh. Jesus! Wow! <laughs> hey, if you're in the post office and you're a human being, uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? How the hell should I know? Hello, and what there? is all this crap? If you're a human being, I'm answer, please. A lot of wires. Did the uh the kids do this? Uh, uh hi. Y yes, I'm I'm a human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. I uh don't think we broke anything. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took oh. a picture. Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I usually charge for headshots. Over. That flash wasn't meant for you. Listen, <laughs> I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. Oh, boy. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? 
Sure, you got it. Why it's not? Good deed for messing <laughs> up the picture. Think of it as karma. Now there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can, I'll make it worth your while. How much? If you have any trouble, see you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing, right? It says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Eh, you know, Hank seems like a, I want to say a nice guy, but <laughs> these EMF booster things, it's a fun pet project for him, but unless they're going to help us plant this transmitter, I say let's ignore it and try the mines. You know? Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to dismiss anything that might be of use. No, no, no. I, I, I get that. <laughs> I, I just don't see how this will be of use yet. I uh, think that came from outside. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Tragedy. Tragedy. 12 lives claimed in deadly mineshaft collapse. Latimer Mines no longer in operation. Garland mourns its greatest enterprise alongside 12 cherished sons. Ugh. From 1892. I guess that's when things started to go downhill. Yep. All right. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so this is a lengthy side quest we're starting on Andrew here. Rhines, Postmaster, 1878 to 1903. Wow. Must have been the first. Huh? Oh, right. First Postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they hang a picture. 1878. Wow. Kind of got some Teddy Roosevelt vibes. Yeah, I, I see it. Going, though. Hank mentioned grabbing a picture. I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. Like the sign? Garland Post Office, established 1878. Oh, okay. Uh. <sighs> the last time I did this, I swear we got cut off from like a bunch of stuff. So let me see if I can find a way to go around it. <laughs> to investigate the other things, and then I will investigate the crack in space and time. There is a time and place for getting lost in the crack. Okay. So we got uh, some numbers here. Or oh, digits, I guess. On the dial. Just yeah. Careful, etc. Another one. The last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside this one will be too. Or uh, whenever's inside. <laughs> okay, good. Don't have to worry about it. So it's code. Gotta get the code. Huh. Well, brought the mines caved in. We kind of blew right past the church back there. That could be a way up. Uh, I think the only thing left we can do is check out Hank's weird equipment. Maybe futzing with those might affect something? Uh, I don't know. I'm reaching. Oh, no, no. that That's as good an idea as any. Let us futz. Find a, uh, one of his boosters. Okay. Yeah, let's check out the other one before heading over to the church. have a theory. Mm. No? Okay. Then we're on our own. 
<laughs> well, I say on her own, but Jacob's here. He's here for moral support. What do we got over here? Oh, gotta walk on the skeletons. There's the graveyard. This is the one Hank was talking about. The broken one. Yeah, that's toast. But how? Maybe wildlife? I see shoe prints. Maybe not. But never say never, I guess. Almost all of these over here died in 1892. Okay. So my theory, my theory is it's 1892. Thought I saw something. Yeah, it said walk on the skeletons. Okay, I think I see a glowy up there, but I could be wrong. Let me see. There it is. Hmm. All right. Heritage was trying to recruit Maggie Adler or something? Hmm. Ingrid, while I appreciate your attempts to rouse this old sleepwalker, oh, discover the complete Adler letters, set two. I don't think Parentage is the group I need. I'm sure they're good people, you're good people, but I really don't need a social club, and particularly one with such obscure beliefs. I know you said I could ignore the bells and whistles, as you put it, the star maps and all that, but I can't help but feel uneasy with the things they choose to call important. Changing the context of your perspective is manipulation, Ingrid, even if it's for an ostensibly good purpose. Regardless, at the end of the evening, I'm perfectly content with my books, my thoughts, and my easy chair. The chattering of wind chimes is enough for me. Thank you for the invite. Oh, dead end. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we can do anything about repairing that. Let's go to the church. It's locked up tight. Or Those not. Chains aren't budging. <laughs> mm. And we can't get through the mine either. Whoop. Our options are dwindling. Huh. I, I think the only thing left we can do is check out Hank's weird equipment. Maybe futzing with those might affect something? I, I don't know. I'm reaching. No, no, that that's as good an idea as any. I let us futz. And find uh, uh, one of his boosters. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's make our way back down. <laughs> Why not? We did it once. We'll do it again. Done it once, we'll do it again. Let's see over this way. It was a good one. It was elaborate, but the payoff was so worth it. It was a beautiful dance. So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 1892. But I can only put in like one number at a time. So we're kind of limited at this point in terms of what we can do with his equipment. Uh, here, let me try calling him again. Maybe that was a platform to jump over? Maybe not. Okay, here, yeah, let's, uh... Maybe 
I could try the radio. Maybe that'll do it. has the little symbol. That's all I have. Here, you know what? Let's try calling Hank. Nothing from Hank. Okay. Huh. Like, is there another way I'm supposed to cycle through the numbers on this thing? Like, on the other machines? Okay. There's supposed to be another way I'm supposed to cycle through the numbers here. I mean, all they've told me to do is... Yeah, like, you have to use the machines, so... Or, hold on, hold on. I think I got it, hold up. I gotta do the thing. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's the only thing we can do. See, I thought I needed to use, oh like, give it power to do that. Look. I know we got a job to do, but, like, this is unbelievable. Wasn't too shabby when she had, uh, townsfolk, huh? Mm. Ugh, makes the abandonment all the more tragic. Yeah, it feels strange to see it up and running. Or running, in quotes. Let's look around. Maybe the mine's open. Let's check it out. Oh, it's beautiful now. Hey! Oh, awesome. It's, it's open, see? Oh, thank God. I can't believe that worked. Whew, glad that paid off. Yeah. I feel silly. But it took me Let's that long to, to do long. that. Uh, okay. Oh, it's at a specific year. Cycled through so many different ones before finding it. Okay. This is a random question, but what made you move away? From a Camina, I mean. Um, my dad. Our relationship seemed beyond repair, and so I wanted to make a clean break of it. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. No. <laughs> Maybe because, as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want. Uh, I always felt older. So when I hit my 30s, I felt like that existential exhaustion finally caught up with my body. There's just something about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. It must make me babble about all this stuff, because I never left Camino. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. My life would be really different. Moving away doesn't make anything easier. Let me tell you from experience. Well, yeah, but it makes things different, which is something. Sometimes different isn't always better. 
I just always hated that expression. But nobody wants to die. It says nobody wants to do the work. Defined enlightenment. Well, enlightenment's hard goddamn work, okay? No shame in sticking to what you know. Just, I want to say thanks. Thanks for letting me help tonight. This feels like the most worthwhile thing I've done in a very long time. Aww. Hey, anytime. Though also, hopefully, you know, never again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. All right, that's enough of that. We're late for church. Come on. And boy, aren't we? We are late. Oh, hey, I think, I think this is it. Great view, right? Sad city, great view. Just watch where you're stepping, okay? I don't think this complies with OSHA guidelines. No, definitely doesn't. I don't think this railings, so... You know what? The top of the chapel is the better bet. Higher, less obstructed, let's do it. You were right earlier, I just didn't see it. Someday, maybe you'll forgive me. Maybe. Come on, climb time. Yeah, climb time. Ooh, that's oh, dangerous. Maneuver. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Uh. Hey, I didn't do it. No, not. I didn't smell it before, <laughs> but that's rot. That's. Oh. Oh, oh that's bad. Uh oh. Uh, hurry up and stick the transmitter uh, so we. Ah! Uh oh. <gasps> Jacob. Jacob, can you can you hear me? I know I should do the transmitter, but I need to see if he's okay. Jacob? Oh, he Jacob? fell. Off. Please wow. Say something. Where Make are we noise? going? Oh, maybe I should have Maybe I should have done the transmitter. I'm almost there, Jacob. Just, just hold on. Oh my God. Uh, Jacob, where are you? Very ominous. I don't like it. I don't like this. Ah. <sighs> Wonderful. This is just full of wonder. <laughs> okay, so don't light that one. I know, where are we? Okay, don't light that one either. And here we go, yet again. Okay. For completionist's sake, I need to try the last one. All right. Okay. We we found it. Okay, so it's front left. Far left. Okay. Perfect. Ah! Green girl. Green girl. No, don't, 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 don't hurt us. No. Lie. Out. 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 Door. Impossible. So, oh no. What? What is this? What, what are you trying to do, Alex? Scare me? I, I, I don't... Alex. Alex? Girl. Lost, Lost beach. Scare. Not dead. Boys. And... Green. Girl. Cake. Oh. Oh. 
No, stop dropping him! Stop that! Alex! Stop already! What is this proving? Door open. Door. Black. Black. Hi. Yeah. End. Jacob, are you okay? It was Is not let me click these. Yeah, check him, please. What? Yep. Yeah. Jacob, please, come on, man, get up. Show me something here. I feel like that's it. Almost, yeah. Here, does it have to be like slightly? Slightly off. <laughs> uh, oh, good. Uh, just, 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 just wait. Uh, the board gave way, didn't it? Uh. Are you uh, okay? Yeah, I'm mm, fine. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. It's like I just taken a header off a chair or something. Sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> like the sound was getting okay, me too. But... Still checking. Well, that's very nice of you to ask, but I'm fine. Good, good. I think, I think we're both okay then. God, Miss Adler would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. She, uh, always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just do that, please? Yeah, let's get back up and get that transmitter going. I'm just looking for little sparkly glowies first. Everything's a-okay. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Garland Ghost Town, let's go. I gotta finish the, the transmitter that I started. Gotta do our little our little shimmy back up here. Okay. Okay, okay. We're back. Let's plant this thing before anything else, before a horde of gremlins drag us off into the night. Yep. Let's do it. And after the transmitter's planted, that should be it, right? The portal should close. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, jeez. Ooh, whoa. Hello. Did we do it? <laughs> uh, did we do it? It seems better. I wrote this game. Right? I didn't tell you, I but think I think so. I think we did it. I think, I think we really did it. Finally. Man, Riley, we are just extraordinarily lucky this worked. If you hadn't been oh, here really? at the exact oh. right time, at this exact right spot, with these exact right transmitters, I don't know what would have happened. Place the transmitter at Garland. God, probably like four in the morning. There's a lot of stuff to sort through. Like, what to do about anything that's happened. But 
don't know about you. I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks. See about getting you a hotel. I'd offer my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Not exactly pristine. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I definitely could never have done this without you. But I, I think I just need some genuine alone time for a bit. No, totally. I get it. Me too. The town's back this way. Let's get rambling. I have to... I guess we're going... Oh, there we go. I thought it was going to make me, like, climb the rope down. Okay. Here, is there anything over this way? Oh, we can climb down from here. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll go this way. All right. Is this it? This is this can't be the end. That was too easy. Oh, I can. Okay. Here, let's do that. Do I have to go through the tear again? Oh, I do. I'm guessing I should do that while back in time, because otherwise I can't really do too much about it. Been pretty quiet. Think about anything in particular? Oh, I should call Evelyn. Uh, I'm just picturing Rex. That's, sorry, I, I kept having flashes, future memories of me and my son. I never told you about it. It didn't seem important to what was going on. Oh, man. I'm just, uh, just worried about him, about what he'll turn out to be. He, he just so reminds me of me, but I don't know. <laughs> Probably sound. You sound exactly how you should sound. You sound like someone tired. Mm. I'm to give you the year to visit to see you sometime. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing it's 1892, but the problem is, is that I don't know where else to put it in. Oh! Hold up. Ah, it changes it! I didn't know that. Okay. How far back can we go? How far back can we go? Hold on, hold on. I want it. No? Okay. I can see why this would take you an hour with the trial and error. Would it normally? Do I have to use the radio, maybe? Every... Ooh, somebody's not doing... Yep. Take your breaths.
Huh. Okay. Here, let's let's try and reset it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there, it was everything. It was a tie game for most of it. An admitting of a murderer. Good times. Okay, this is this is odd. Okay, let me try the other one. Maybe the other one's the wrong year, and maybe that's why it's not letting me. That's strange. can't do it at this point in the game. Maybe you're locked out of it. Okay. Here, let's just try this. I don't think that did anything different. Seems like a glitch. Okay. So we might have to let this one go. <laughs> I'm sure we could walk out of the area and come back and maybe it would work. But I also know this is just like a little side questy area. Yeah. It's a long bridge too. I mean, we gotta head back that way anyway. Hank wants us to use his booster things to take a picture of something. Maybe something living? Holy crap, we need to call Shelly back. Okay, we planted a transmitter. But I can't reach Evelyn. Yeah, unfortunately it is quite a ways to go up and across that bridge. And, like, I'm acknowledging that Riley and Jacob have had a very long night but they're also not moving very fast. <laughs> there is no sprint button, unfortunately, so we might have to let this side quest go. This might be a, a future gameplay side quest for me. Would you say I miss out on a- actually, no. I was gonna say, would you say I miss out on a lot by not doing it? But I feel like that could be a potential spoiler, so... I... I take back my question. But now it's just eerie without the strange glowing triangle in the sky. I kinda got used to seeing that thing there. In a weird sort of way. I'm still sad, though. Alex is... maybe still trapped in there? And, and the other kiddos. Oh, oh. They didn't deserve that. They were just some kids playing with a radio in a cave. They weren't trying to summon ghosts. Mind you, we got dragged into it in this one, too. Ghosts are just dragging everybody into their problems. I know the Kanaloa folk didn't want this to happen to them, but dang. Yeah, it almost like it's too good to be true. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go this way. It went just a little too smoothly. And I don't know, the baseball guy was still having a kind of an existential nightmare about a murder? So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we gotta go this far, just reload the area. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to move on. 
Yep. Well, we found one shoe. Now, just gotta wait for the other one. Let's see what's waiting for us in the parking lot. Just want to take a peek, see if there's anything new over here. Part of me was hoping I would see Alex and the kids here. The fact that they're not here makes me sad. It's eerie, there's no conversation. It's a game where everybody's talking all the time. Now it's like, you need to sit here with your thoughts now. <laughs> Impossible to be sad at funnies. Okay, we're moving okay, things we along. Home, sweet, something. There's a phone in the general store. Maybe one more break-in for old time's sake, just to call you a ride. I'd give you a lift, but it's a five minute walk and my truck is still dead. So if I don't see you, it uh, wait. Uh, Jacob, what's going on? Uh-oh. Jacob? What's going on? Jacob? Jacob! Hey, what are you doing, man? Did you get a little, uh, deja vu? Um, wait, w was that? Uh! Orange uh. lemons. Say the bells of St. Clements. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. And here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Wait, Alex, what are you doing? Oh, that late, I... <laughs> There she is. The night's frequencies of blood enough that I can be her spurts at a time. But look, this isn't what I'm here for. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. The Sunken. The crew of the USS Canaloa. They've been using the half-open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. I told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the Sunken are taking advantage of. The Sunken? Those people that first got trapped between time? How are they back? What do they want? What anyone wants, what anything wants, what I wanted. To live, Riley. To come back to our timeline no matter what it breaks, and no matter who they have to take over to make it happen. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, so wait, how do we stop them? By stopping Olivia. Okay, we're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it was just... Oh, boy. What happened? Was Alex here? Yeah. She, she was She was here, and then she said, the, the sunken are coming back? Is that... I didn't dream that yesterday, and I'm only just remembering it now, right? Yeah. 
and apparently we're all in really deep trouble if we don't prevent them from popping out of a new portal Olivia's trying to open. We need to find a boat and get to Edwards Island. We were so very close. We were. To being in our own respective beds. <sighs> so close. So close. Oh, soon. Very, very soon. Something tells me we need a boat. Is that right? It's. A, I'm still a little foggy. So, uh, that doesn't leave a lot of options. Hey, you wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? I mean, why not? I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're going to go about it. Yeah, yeah, let's just do it. We don't have a lot of time here. There's always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the time. Okay, interesting. It's like, hey, if you started anything. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened tonight. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So anything you want to do before it's done, better do it now. Okay. So we've got a couple of got a couple of loose ends here. So for one thing, I mean, we've got the the one we abandoned because a uh, slight glitch and it's a long way to get back there. Uh, there was the the fisherman's thing in the cave, right? Would it be worth it to go back to do that before we we get moseying on or there was also the shoe we found, but I don't know what that contributes towards, if I'm being honest. Oh, really? Oh, all right. That's the thing, though, is it's like uh, we're, we're going to be wrapping up in like half an hour, and I don't want to speed through the ending. Oh, is it? Oh. Is it worth it to do it, you think? Though it means having to go all the way back. So that's kind of that's kind of where we're at right now. Cuz yeah, there was also the the fisherman's pack, right? Where it's like, "Hey, well, you're in the cave, but then I went into the the crease in time and that kind of screwed things up." Just an extra bit for the ending. We're not going to be able to finish it tonight. Like that I'm I'm comfortable with. But <laughs> would okay. would y'all be Let's okay see the lock. if I decided to pursue these side quests? Just to tie up these loose ends. Okay. I know we said we're abandoning it, but if it is like an hour left in the game, I want to make sure I'm giving it time to breathe. I don't want to rush through it, especially because it is such like a dialogue heavy game. Okay. You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this, at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios, just trying to prove her right, trying to vindicate her a little. All right, we're making our way back. Unless I need to stop somewhere else first to do what I need to do. Everything that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. It'd be so absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. How'd you uh, meet her, anyway? She was an old woman who lived on an island. Oh, I used to practically live at the library, and she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. That sounds like Maggie. That checks out. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She was, uh, she was a character. <laughs> and I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid and bored and my house sucked. So, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? <laughs> Eventually, I'd <laughs> why stop not? going to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. It just got to be too much eventually. Sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Before. Can we visit her? 
Maybe she can help? Mm. She, uh, uh she, she died a few years back. Yeah. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, southern side of town. I think I was the only one to attend. Oh. Never wanted that to happen to me, you know? Make no lasting connections. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Come on, onward. At least we're getting a bit of like good exposition. Cause I was curious, like how he knew oh, Maggie. Man, weather this month. It's usually unpredictable, but the temperature has been crazy cold for weeks. Do you ever miss Kamina? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think maybe I'm just curious why you left. I wanted to see new places on the map, I think. Ah, other than where his rank put him, my dad never really traveled. And I just didn't want to be like him. At least not in that way. Man, okay, it's... You doing okay? Just want to check in. Yeah, no, Jacob, I'm, I'm fine, really. Just thinking. Yeah, sorry. No problem. Okay. Oh, here we go. Enter the chair. Hey, things are, uh, different? Wow. Okay. 1720. That, that, that must be what the boosters do. Oh my god. Amazing. It's right? very this pretty. This is amazing. Look. Like, Mother Earth, man, she is no slouch. Yeah. I should have just left it alone. Oh, this is much better looking than any hardware store. Most hardware store, sure. But I've seen some liquors. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Mining makes sense. I guess I could exit the tear here, but that's just going to take us back into the. Oh, back into town. Okay. So that was 1720. the exact year he wanted us to look for here. Hold up, hold up. 1720. Guess that'll be 1890. That's where we ended up initially. Okay, I can see why this would be like a series of trial and error. Okay, let's change up the other number. What was it? 1876 to 1908. Yeah, every time. Yeah. <laughs> So I might have to go back to the postmaster's office. Just to get these details here. So I guess it could be... Oh! Never mind, Olivia's insane going to Edwards Island to stop her. <laughs> Take pictures of something, something living. There we go. Town opening was 1878. The mine collapse was 1892. Okay. Turn 
Church. Doors locked. Top of church. Good transmitter spot. Okay. So we can only change the middle two numbers. So we could go back to like 1870. We're in 1880. I think 1890 is where we were. Okay, I'm just trying to think of what point we're trying to get to here. Okay, no. You get to examine everything just one time. There's something in the postmaster's office. Okay. Because all I can think of is it would be the postmaster. So we're at 18. Mind you, we could do 19. Or, actually, that's not gonna be. That's not gonna be. Here we go. The differences are pretty subtle, yeah. but yeah, we must be close to our own time. This place looks just as abandoned. Okay. We saw the tear before. Like. Or, um, like the town was up, but it was abandoned. Okay, so, here we go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, town opening was in 1878. That's why I was thinking, like, 1880, it would be bustling. Hmm. Stick with the 18. So I think it's the second one have to make adjustments to. Maybe Okay, there was stuff here. Uh, maybe? I would I would hope so. Unless it's in a a spot I don't know about. Cause so far as I know right now, we've only got access to two to two of these, EMF1 and EMF2. Okay. Okay. Okay, we did 1870, 1880, 1890. Okay, maybe we'll go a bit further back. Let's try 1860. Let me just make sure that. Yeah, okay. I do kind of wish she would just like slide down that ladder. <laughs> 1860, okay, there's, there's town. Then maybe I'll ask them for a bit of a, should I continue to be going backwards? Would like going towards more the founding of the town be a better idea or would moving forward be the better option? Because I feel like my, my travel through the 1800s 
forward. Alrighty. Then maybe what I'll do... Let's go to the 1900s then. Because otherwise I was just going to keep going down. Alright. Alright. Let's go to the 1900s. Yeah. Well, I did 1890 already. So it's like, if we're going up from that point, we'll go with the 1900s. Let's see what happens. Okay. There's the mind collapse. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's not it. It's like, I know they've given us dates, but I... I'm very confident we've already been through, like, the major times. I can try 1890 again. Just to get a bit of clarity there, but. Because the years we've been given, town opening in 1870. So I've already done 1880 and 1870. I, it hasn't shown me anything. The mine collapse was in 1892. I did the 1890s, I've now done 1900. I can try 1890 again. Because now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> so apologize, apologies if I'm repeating myself with this again. But I just, I need to know. Do that? Wait, hold up. Nope, can't go in. Okay. the one that was like the 10 on the year was the one that was on the ground. I feel like this would make this go a little bit faster. Okay. I will? Okay. Here. Let's try 1880. Just cross it off the list. The trick was to go to the time of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Must be something I'm not seeing here.
still nothing. Okay. Okay. Should I be staying in the 1800s? Because I know those are the relevant dates that they've given me on my map. But... I have now checked the entirety of the 1800s and I have not found... Okay. Alright, so I wasn't stupid for going into the 1900s. Okay. Because here I am, like, oh yeah, just... Follow the, the dates they give you. It must be connected with one of them. It's like, no, I guess it's just to give you a frame of reference. Okay. Nineteen ten. Okay. We getting roads? <laughs> you gotta you gotta want it. Okay. But we're getting roads. Which means people. Which means at one point we're gonna go through that tear and we're gonna get hit by a car. Imagine that you go, th you survive like ghosts and possessions falling down a whole lot, and then what does you win is getting hit by a car in the 1920s. Here we go. I think we're getting more road. Right. We're getting there. I feel like we're getting there. going we don't need roads oh, well, <gasps> I, look, look, look there, there there's there's like literally there's a guy over there hi like guy a human being from the past oh wow that's um no yeah. I wonder if he talks like uh, movies have conditioned me to think these people talk. Like, <laughs> Listen here, Sonny. <laughs> Adi, <laughs> that, sort of good evening. Uh, good evening. Take a picture for Hank. Yep, on it. Is that one of those uh, Daguerro types? Got it. Oh, man. This is... I can't believe we got it. But we should call Hank and let him know we got the picture. He's not gonna believe it. I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, you know, seems like something we should probably do. Uh, evening, sir. Have a good one. We did it. Thank you for your help, JJ. I appreciate it. Alright. Ooh, now I can talk to Evelyn. I planted the last transmitter, Evelyn. You on the horn? Riley, can you hear me? I'm in the car. I finally got my car started. I'm, I'm on the road. Sorry I can't pick you up. If I get too close to the coastline, the battery starts to drain again. Hmm. Over? Oh, where are you going? Over. I left work, and I'm heading to my partner's place. She's been home for a bit. Uh, my sister never called Riley, and oh. I still can't get in contact with her. I took your advice and told my mom the truth. I think it was the right thing to do. But I'm just... I can't be at work anymore. Because it's just work. That's what it is. Work. And my family's my life. Yeah. The time was really exciting for me. And you were a big part of that. <clears throat> Thanks for the readings, Riley. I mean it. This information will help so much if anything like this ever happens in the future. But Hopefully right now, not. <laughs> I, just have to, I just want to be home and wait by the phone, if that makes sense. No, I, I totally understand, Evelyn. Be with your family. 
Over. Thanks. Okay, Riley. If nope. you still Checking need anything, with Evelyn for all three I'll transmitters. Line, just in case. See you later, Jacob. Hope you find your doggy. Thanks, Evelyn. Yeah, there's been no sign of his Good dog. Luck. Over and out. Hey, Hank, you there? We got something you might be interested in. Yep, we took the picture for you. I have to say, it's pretty good. Check your mailbox when you get the chance, okay? Over. Good, good. I'll take your word for it that you got everything in frame. <laughs> this is a good start. Over. Uh, just good? Just good? That's a genuine photograph of someone who's not alive anymore, Hank. I think that puts it somewhere near nuclear fission on the list of scientific discoveries. Over. Agreed. Yep. Not until it's verifiable. Photos can be doctored. Physical evidence can't. And with everything that's happening tonight, the readings I'm getting, I feel like it's now or never, honestly. What's it like out there? Over. Some teenager named Olivia is trying to open a portal to another dimension, and it's uh, not great if that happens. Over. Mm, that's too bad. Continue <laughs> research, I think, is imperative at this point. So with that in mind, can you possibly oh, assist boy. me in finding something ghostly that's a little more solid? Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, we're out here anyway. What are you looking for? Over. Great, that's great. We're looking for something from the other side. An impossible object. Something that's come in from another time, a past life, or alternate reality. Just keep your eyes peeled while you're out there tonight. Okay, but do what with this impossible object? Over. Take it. I'll let you know what to do next if you find something. Check in if you get something, or call if you have any questions about anything. Okay. Over and out. That's a very vague hey. thing to ask. Interesting guy. I don't know if we want to be taking such a detour, but... Eh, we can really use his help. He seems to know some stuff about this stuff. Yeah, true. Well, I won't be surprised if we do find something, so... I'll try to, uh, keep his request in mind. Alright, so is it, like, in this area of the map? He said don't go too far. Sure, let me try calling him back. Ah! Uh, yeah, actually, I think I found your physical evidence. A shoe that belonged to a little boy that died years ago. It glitched into a cave. Maybe you can analyze it or something? Over? That sounds... that sounds like it could work. Could you <laughs> drop it off at one of my portable lock boxes at your earliest convenience? The closest to you would be the Garland Post Office. It's upstairs on your left. Just place it inside close the door and give me a call this is the last favor hank okay? why does it sound over. like he's not coming through Understood. the walkie-talkie thanking you in advance over and out it sounds like he's talking right next to me because like when i'm talking to evelyn it's like it's you know it's got like the radio static but uh hank didn't in that moment which is very strange and a little suspicious Put the shoe in the lockbox. Here you go, Hank. One spectral shoe. My motion alarm triggered on the box. Is that you? Over. How happy are you, Hank, on a scale of one to famous ghost explorer? Over. I'll let you know once I get the test object back to my equipment. I'm very grateful you stumbled into my experiments tonight, Riley. You've played a major role in the dawn of a new existential understanding. Yeah, well, I'd expect you to be quite pleased I tripped over your wires. Worked out pretty well for you. Yeah. Hey, honey, are you up? Come here for a second. There's, uh, there's one in the pantry. Come here for a second. This is the woman I was telling you about. Riley. She's the co-researcher of my spectral anthropologist tone. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. You like dead things like my husband? Or is he paying you from our child's college fund? Um, forgive me, and don't take this the wrong way, but I did not picture you as a family man type. Over. It's probably his sunny demeanor. <laughs> oh, come on, I can be extremely sunny when the time and place is appropriate. Mm-hmm. I'm coming to bed in a minute, okay? Okay. Alright, thanks again, Riley. I, I should help my wife with the pump. If you need anything else, don't 
don't hesitate to call. I'll be on most of the night. Over and out. Deliver the shoe to Hank. I've had weirder jobs achievement. Yeah. I feel like once you have a kid, like, I don't have kids myself, so this is just me guessing. I'm assuming that it becomes, like, such a very mundane part of your life that you just, like, say things like that out loud, and it's like, yeah, you know, you get it, right? And it's like, not, not everybody does, <laughs> admittedly. Okay, there we go. We did it. So I believe the only other side quest that we haven't done is the one with the the fisherman's bag in the cave, right? I think it was mentioned in chat that that is something I could go back and and get after the fact or like are my hands tied at this point? Cuz if I can't do it, I'll get myself in a position to move on for next stream. <laughs> I have read Family Circus, but not for a very long time. I did used to read, like, the comics page in the newspaper for a few years. Okay, so you can do it. Okay. I'm just... Gosh, that was, like, the beginning of the game. Um... Okay. Was it Camber Cave? I'm just trying to remember where the entrance is to that. Or is it that cave there on the right? Ah. <laughs> it's Waterhead Bluffs? Okay. Here, here, hold up, hold up, hold up. Waterhead Bluffs, okay. <laughs> I mean, like, admit, well. My parents had it delivered to the house. That was basically the only section I read for a number of years, for sure. Above Jacob's place. Okay. Alright, so we'll have to go up here. Let's see if we can cross this off our list. And then that way in the next stream, we can just go for the gold. Okay, so that yeah, is across there. Okay. Oh, ow, ooh, sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> After everything we've been through tonight, it's slippery rocks that get you? Come on, Jacob. Come on. See if we can get that fisherman bag. Because I think, other than that, I think that's it for any little side quests. Not that there's that many in this compared to, like, you know, something like Horizon Zero Dawn, but still. <laughs> it's a lot of running around, and there's no fast travel. So you gotta work for it. We proved that with the last side quest going up and down that ladder. This goes a bit faster. Okay. Just so I know which direction I'm heading in. I have bluffs, so I head down. Yeah, I ain't making that. <laughs> tried that tried that once. <laughs> This entrance down here? Yeah, let's, let's see. Last time I went through here, it was in a tear. All 
Or no, am I thinking the other way? No, no, it was this way. Waterhead Bluffs. I know, I don't have the best sense of direction. Don't trust me 100%, but I, I got a feeling this is the way. so many there's so many little caves <laughs> there's so many okay hold on yeah i don't think i found okay yeah i think this is the right direction yeah Place to sleep, though. That's not bad. Oh, that one's locked. Okay. Anything? Any shinies? Nope. Okay. Hey, fisherman guy, sorry, but I can't find the pack. Oh, fine. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now, but I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but I'm all over Kamina, so if you need any info about the area, or Edwards Island, I've been all up and down the coastline. Just give me a holler. Anytime. I'll be up all night. Sure, I just might. Over. Okay, thanks for the help again. Over and out. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we've got a new contact. So, I mean, that's pretty good, but I wasn't expecting, like, hey, I couldn't find it. Ah, oh. well, that's too bad. Anyway, you need someone to talk to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Find the bag? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> All right. We'll uh, we'll get ourselves back towards the main part of town, and then we'll probably call it here for tonight. I feel like it's a, a good spot to call it. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more, especially given how uh, involved Hank's whole thing was, but that's okay. But they, I, I'm assuming it was meant to be a replacement for like the, oh, here's a little something about this location. It has this history. I'll tell you all about it. Because the radio used to do that for us. Yeah? Here. No. Hey, Hank, you there? I'm here. I'm just not at all for two minutes, actually. Do you believe in the idea of time travel in general? Just, just curious. Over. Of course I do. It's a real thing. We're traveling through time every second of every day. There's nothing that says we can't also go backward, which is what I think you're asking. Don't you agree? Over. I don't know. Seems a little far-fetched. Having everything messed with a bit is one thing. That is something else. Over. If you think tonight is all that's possible, then you have a lot of homework ahead of you. Okay, Riley, call me later with some news. Over and out. Stop bothering me, Riley. <laughs> all right. From Nick, Hank, Evelyn, and Shelley.
No? Okay. Yeah, I would assume he'd be like a good contact for like strange supernatural hey, things on. Lights on over there. Over. Hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Well, that's settle on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is the ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Never seen such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right, no, not frozen. I wouldn't be in motion if it was. And yet, merrily, I roll along. Huh. Uh, common sense would have me steer back home. But, uh, I should see what's out there. I'm gonna need a tether, though. So if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt. I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. <laughs> I like the weirdos I converse with over this walkie-talkie. neck as the water like glass I don't mean see-through I mean sharp the water it looks jagged like you cut yourself to shreds swimming in it how is that possible you took my line all I know is I'm sailing through it smoothly so hey gift horse mouth a drop did splash its way up, though. Cut me right on the eyelid. Put gauze on it. Oh. Nothing like blood on the pupil to wake you right up. <laughs> You're a proper pirate now. Let's find you a parrot. Maybe some scurvy for kicks. I'll name it Riley if I do. Aww. Still floating? Appreciate the check-in. Keep your eyelids safe, kid. Over and out. Ooh. It's getting nasty on the water there. All right. We'll head to the next zone and. Or is there another one after the parking lot? I'm trying to remember where the. Yeah, it's parking lot and then it's the next one. Here. Let me see if I can call Nick one more time. Nope. Gotta, gotta give him a break. Here, let's head into the next zone. And that way, we will be in the perfect spot for next stream to wrap up Oxenfree 2. Hasn't saved, though. I don't know if it's saved. I would hope it did once we wrapped up that uh, that side quest there, but I wasn't paying attention to the quick save symbol. Do you think I'm alright? Do you think I'm safe? Yeah. It didn't show the little symbol, though. Here, hold on. So it'll show me where we last were. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So on that note, I think we're going to call it there for today. So I know this last bit of the stream kind of dragged a bit, but I'm hoping that some of these elements are going to tie in together at the end because that did happen in Oxenfree 1. The side quests weren't quite the same, but they did add to what sort of ending you can get. So we'll see if our hard work has paid off. Thank you so much for your help. Should play one more hour just to be safe. Very tempting, but unfortunately I'm out of steam and... You know what, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your Halloween night. But hopefully, 
you enjoyed your time here on stream. I very much appreciate it having you join me this Halloween night. Had a couple of jump scares in there. We cleaned up some side quests and we got to see Alex. Like we got to properly see her and she was up to some shady stuff, but not as shady as the Kanaloa ghosts who are always up to some shady stuff. So we'll see if we can stop them in the next stream, which is going to be on Monday night at 730. Yes, yes, I will see you in November. Gosh, yeah, it's November 1st tomorrow. Yes, happy Halloween. We're going to be picking up on Monday, 7.30. Details are going to be on Discord, on Twitter slash X, and on Threads. And if anything changes between now and then, the details can be found there as well. Until then, I hope you have a lovely rest of your Halloween, and I will see, see you in November. <laughs> Until then, have a good one. See ya.